What's up, engineering entrepreneurs? Today we are going to go over how to make a silicone part. So let's go down the basement and get it done. All right, so now I got our funnels in there. I actually 3D printed those because I had a, you know, normal injection molded funnel I bought somewhere, and I needed more, so I just copied it in CAD and 3D printed it. And a little makeshift phone holder that didn't quite print right. It still doesn't do up. So we're using this. Uh, Smooth on silicone. You're gonna put a little bit of silicone thinner in there. I use Mold Star 20, a bit of part A, and then part B. We'll pause it while we get this set up. All right, so first we need a little bit of we're making a white part here, white silicone part. So we need the white pigment and the toothpick here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of put this in there. I feel like I'm in like a baking show or something, like a cooking show here. You kind of shove some of that down in the cup. Maybe put a little more. I never know how much to put in. It's probably enough, but. All right. That'll do the trick. Then we're gonna put in a little bit of thinner. You don't need a lot of this. Let's see, just like, I kind of just, there we go. Maybe a little more. The whole point of this is because it needs to flow fast enough through the uh, mold to get to the bottom before it starts to harden. This makes it flow a little faster. You're probably supposed to measure all this, but like I've been doing this long enough that I know about how much I need to fill two of these. So you want to mix in equal parts of this. So I'm going to just look, pour this in so I feel it's about right, kind of eyeball it, and then pour it part B about the same. That's probably enough. So basically I'm up to like there. So I probably wanna go up to like there. So like another inch. I've learned that you don't have to, it's, you know, you don't have to be exactly precise with this type of thing to make it work. All right, that's probably perfect. All right, so now you gotta mix it together. I've got a ton of these because you need to have these little wooden things. All right, so mix it up really good. All right, mix it all up. We just basically dump it in and have to wait. All right, and there it is. So what's gonna happen is over the next 20, 30 minutes, it'll drain in there, harden, and uh, still have to do some work to cut the flash out. But uh, maybe I'll make a next second video with all that. But that's the gist of it. it. Didn't take that long. And I'll sell these parts for probably $25 a piece and cost me four or five dollars material to make it.